Carleton University. Located only a few kilometers from downtown Ottawa, you may not think such an urban location would be home to many birds. But Carleton's campus still has significant green space. More importantly, its southern border is the Rideau River. With so many habitats available, perhaps we can find birds after all. As it is autumn, the leaves are falling and birds are getting ready to migrate south to avoid the cold, harsh Canadian winter. It looks like these mallards are hard at work, looking for something to eat. But what are they eating? The tree above them is an oak tree, and it has released its acorns. Wow, this mallard really wants the acorn. Will he be able to eat it? Perhaps his friend will have better luck. Well, maybe not. When the mallards are not eating, they are swimming and the males are transforming into their beautiful breeding plumage. Let's take a look at a different species. What's this? It's a double-crested cormorant sitting on a rock in the middle of the river. Cormorants have special feathers that get soaked when they swim. This helps them die for fish, but then they have to sit around to dry off. What else can we find on this river? Is that a shorebird? Yes, it's a spotted sandpiper, one of my favorites. Spotted sandpipers like to eat invertebrates such as snails. Get those invertebrates, sandpiper. 121 birds have been recorded at Carleton University, such as yellow warbler, house finch, barn swallow, and American goldfinch. We don't have time to look at them all, but if you visit Carleton, you'll surely find a few yourself. At the same time, we should remember that with all these birds, Carleton University is still mostly concrete. What kinds of pressures will these birds face in an urban setting as human development continues, and how can we help them? And of course, I should mention that there are many precious animals that live at Carleton besides birds, such as this groundhog.